I'm Dr. Dighton. Um, I'm a cardiologist at the uh, Cardiac Centre in Loughton in Essex. And I want to tell you about the heart and its electrical functioning. This is the heart, a picture of the heart as a pump. The heart pumps, blood goes around the body, but how does it do that? Well, it does that by producing little electrical sparks, if you like, in this region, which then spread through the heart and make it contract. I'll show you an ECG. Come with me. Now, when the heart beats, or before the heart beats, it produces these little spikes of electricity. This is a, uh, a television screen, what used to be called a cathode ray tube, and uh, with wires attached to the body, you will get these little blips of, of voltages as the current passes through the heart. And these wave patterns tell us about the pacemaker, that's the bit that ticks, these little bits here in front. And then with the main chamber actually beats, or just before it beats, you'll get these elect big electrical impulses. And then as the, as the heart recovers, you get these big fatter waves called T waves. Now, in various forms of heart disease, this pattern changes. I have to admit that it's a bit like tea leaf reading in the sense that the pattern means everything. The science behind it is very complicated. It combines biology with vector analysis and all sorts of complicated maths. But forget all that, it's the pattern that we look at. And we can tell with these patterns whether there's heart disease or whether it's normal to a diagnostic accuracy of about 60 to 80 percent. So that's not very good. Why isn't it very good? Well, we're looking at diseases of pump with arteries that were down which blood flows, and we're asking an electrical test to tell us what's wrong with it. Now, obviously, you wouldn't call an electrician if you had plumbing problems, and you wouldn't call a plumber in with electrical problems, and that's why the electrics of the heart, the ECG, the or EKG as the Americans call it, the electrocardiogram, isn't that good for many heart diseases. So have an ECG by all means, but it's not the be-all and end-all of it.